So, as you guys may know, um, today's uh, toy review is something very special. And if it's not very spoiled by the thumbnail, then I don't know what to tell you. Although I'm probably going to be editing the thumbnail anyways, just because, you know, keeps prizes, you know, low. But in case you guys haven't seen the most latest music video, um, my 60 year anniversary music video, um, then, um, you probably already know what it is. But if you haven't seen it, oh boy, buckle up, because we got two banger toys that are probably some of the most rarest shit that I own. Well, obviously the first one that I'm going to show you isn't, you know, rare, but it is a special one to me, though. It really just, I've been looking for this damn thing for over, like, I don't even know, since like 2017 or 18. And I haven't even been able to accomplish of getting it. I've lost out on it like four or five times. And um, it wasn't until um, two years ago, back in 2021, that I actually got it. And uh, it's, it's definitely a it's, it was definitely a surprise for me when I first found it. In fact, I actually originally did a review on this um, in October, uh, in October 30th of um, 2021. However, um, that video was never really released. Uh, if I ever feel like it, I'm probably like gonna release it, the original video, at some point soon. But you know, I I've talked shit about a lot of shit back then, so you're probably gonna hear me trash talking, you know, all the regular stuff. But anyways, you guys are probably wondering what the fuck this toy is. Um, I'll tell you what it is. It's um something very rare. It's uh some it's been my most wanted for years. I think that's kind of already spoiled it. I haven't even mentioned my most wanted in like in some in like months, which is kind of no surprise because um I've literally gotten it, boom. Ah. Why can you stop yawning? Um without further ado, um after this two minutes and twenty seconds, it's time to finally reveal it. It is the motherfucking Tagly. Yes. Um, uh, so basically, yeah, no, this is, this is, tr this is, um, real life here. This, uh, yeah, I'm pretty speechless right now. Sure, I got this thing, to, um, nearly two years ago, back in 2021 of October. But, um, still, it, I'm still shocked in words, um, ever since, because, believe it or not, I still cannot believe I still have the tag lead. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I still can't believe I actually own it. This is just fucking crazy. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought, obviously, as of with most Taglies. It's so fucking small that literally, like, it's kind of like, like, this is how big my hand is. This is literally the Tagly. Oh, spilled it. Um, but yeah, no, this is like the, this is like the real thing here. Um, so it has like this little thing on the back where you could just like, you know, hold on to it. Just shake it around. It has like a little rattle jingle bell thing inside. It's fucking awesome. I do like it. Even if I am a 19 year old just playing baby toys. It's a little weird, but you know, don't judge me too hard on it. Um, and on the bottom it has a little squeaker. A little dusty too. Um, and all the and the ears actually crinkle. Both ears and the tail. Pretty amazing. Um, and it has a bunch of um. Ugh, excuse me. It has a bunch of tags. So right off the bat, you can already tell that uh, some of them definitely look familiar. For instance. Uh, this one is actually the exact same pattern material as, um, my original Happy Starfish. Not the one that I got this year, the original one from Baby Einstein. No, no, no. We're talking about the 2019 one that I got that's from 7th Heaven. Yeah, you obviously should know by now that there's a difference between the two. Um, <laughs> believe me, I... Yeah, you, you guys should definitely know that there's a difference. Um... And this piece is also... <sighs> fucking God, I hit my yawn. Um, 
this piece also um, goes to the happy starfish too. It's a little crinkle on the starfish. Oh, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm correct, I think I have my new happy starfish in, in this bag here somewhere that I'm fucking around with off screen. Let's see if I can find it. Wait. Oh my god, there's so many puppets and other shit inside. Where the f Oh, found it. So, I do not have my um, other happy starfish with me right now. I have BE one. I don't have the seventh heaven with me right now. Um, but yeah, no. Just get an idea for the patterns. Ooh. It should be noticed that there's a difference between the two. Um, obviously, the one in BE is much smaller. This one's much bigger. I feel like a lot of people should have already known that. And then, of course, this pattern right here is literally the exact same thing. Uh, you got this checker pattern thing. And then you got the triangles, the red triangles. And you got these, like, uh, I don't even know what you call them. They're not crinkly or anything, but I feel like they should be. Um, and then you have the stripes, uh, tag. And then the, per and then the, uh, the old one, which is like a cloth material. And then, I believe that's it. Yeah, I think so. Then you got the iconic purple one. One on the top. And it's pretty unique. I actually like it a lot. Um, the nose, actually. I thought the nose can actually squeak, too, but I guess I was wrong on that one. No, it's only the feet that squeak. Also, it's gotten pretty, um, pretty dusty over time. And, I mean, not to mention, I do keep it on my bed a lot of the times. And, um, like, this came, this literally came all the way from Australia, fun fact. It was in a lot for about $100, um, and you're probably wondering, was it worth it? I mean, come on, the answer's not fucking obvious already. It was worth it. Don't, don't even, don't even ask me that fucking question. You know that. If there was a tagly on eBay, if I didn't have it already, and if I saw it in a lot for 100 bucks, you know that I keep it. In fact, I think, um, I forget, somebody mentioned it, I forget if it was on Discord. Yeah, no, it was definitely on Discord. I remember, like, two years ago, uh, somebody on Discord, might have been Jagger, might have been Sam, might have been Koala, um, hilariously kind of foreshadowed um, the Tagly being up for 100 bucks. And I don't even think anyone knew about the listing at the time. Uh, but, believe it or not, um, somebody um, mentioned something about the Tagly being up for 100 bucks. Nobody knew at the time that I was getting in, and it wasn't until, like, January or February that it got leaked out, so, pretty much, like, everyone pretty much already knew by the time it was January, but hey, I was able to keep it a secret um, for a good three, four months. I guess it was worth it. Um, yeah, nothing else to really say, but hey, it's definitely one of, it's definitely uh, one of the best finds, if not probably the best find of 2021. Uh, not to mention, uh, the plush cow was definitely a good runner-up. Uh, not, not gonna lie there. It was definitely, like, one of the best. In fact, uh, two, I think there's, like, two, maybe three other toys. Well, actually, Trilusion was definitely another runner-up, but, um, I think there's two other toys here that, um, I've gotten in 2021 that definitely could... Um, beat, like, you know, for third place. It, it's a tie between the Triillusion and two Bach toys that I have not reviewed yet. However, you guys have probably seen in music videos and shit, but, you know, I guess it's, you know. But again, definitely number one best find of 2021. Definitely 100% my top favorite. I don't know what else to say. I'm completely speechless right now, and I love it a lot. 10 out of 10, definitely a great find.
with that, since we're at the 10 minute mark, let's move on to the next one. Kind of already swallowed it already. Should be no surprise. Um, for anyone who's been looking in the eBay UK um, in like mid-May, you probably noticed something that got sold recently, and um, you're probably wondering, who the fuck bought it? Well, again, if you haven't seen my music video, my you know, 36 B uh, music video yet, then you probably already know. But again, if you don't, buckle up for a huge surprise, because I, I definitely do not think that many people own this in the community. But I definitely know, I don't think anyone has actually reviewed... There's, yeah, because, like, what, two people own it in the community? Well, actually, I'm the third, maybe, and, like, nobody has actually reviewed theirs at all. Well, to be honest, both of them who actually don't, don't even review toys, so... I'm pretty much the only one that still does review toys that's, you know, big in the community, I guess, but... You know. Let's just, let's just review them already. So, first up, we have this, uh... Finger puppet. Oh shit, did I forget one? Hold on. Actually, no, I'll get it after. Oh, no, it's right here. So first up, we got this one. Uh, not really too special. It's just a Nancy Carson finger puppet. It's kind of the opposite of the pink one, which to some has appeared in a photo of Julie Clark in the background. But wait a minute. I have that too. It's, uh, it's the same thing as this, only it's uh, the one with the sequence wings instead of the lightning-like wings, which I like to call them. Sequence and lightning. Definitely uh, some good names to it. Uh, but then, wait a minute. We also have the red fly. Yeah, don't you guys remember that I actually had a pink fly? The one with the blue body and, like, green tail? Yeah, seriously, when the fuck did I get this? Your answer? There was a lot in the UK that somebody was selling, and like, they were selling like three of them, like, two listings for some odd reason. They had two separate listings. I decided to get both of them, and you'll not believe what was, what was in there that fucking caught my eye. It was another green inchworm. Yeah, I'm just kidding. No, it's actually the fucking pink one from Baby Van Gogh. Yes, I literally have three of the um, three of the four finger puppets now from Van Gogh. I still need both mosquitoes. I I have the actually prove to you guys I'm not lying. Can't believe I'm literally doing this, but I'm actually gonna go grab or see if I can try to grab the other bugs. They're somewhere in here. Can't believe I'm fucking doing this. Yeah, here's my starfish from earlier. I couldn't just grab that. Fucking idiot. Oh boy. Why did I bury my finger puppets all the way down here? Oh, got one. Where's the other? Yeah. All right. Put you all back in. <laughs> all right. So to prove to you guys, I'm not lying here. Here is literally all the finger puppets. Well, actually, no. That's not all. Of them. Hold on a second. <laughs> I got more than that. I forgot. Yeah, this is the real deal right here. Now we got everything. So, to recap, we have Pink Fly. We have a Inchworm Finger Puppet number one. We got Inchworm Finger Puppet number two. I feel like at this point you can also tell the difference between the two. This is the UK, this is the original. Notice that the mouths are a little different on uh, each one, and I think the eyes are on this one are a little bit more, I don't know what you call it, but they're more out of the loop than this one. They're more straight, and this one's like a little 
y you know, I think you can know the difference. Then you got a pink one, obviously the iconic one, the one that we're all here for. Then you got the fly, the original from Van Gogh. This, which appeared in the background of a, of a Julie Clark photo, which I'm guessing probably would have been the original one that would have been used in the video, although it probably gotten cut due to some reason, I don't know why. But I'm assuming this one was originally going to be used in the video. But imagine if they had a deleted scene in Baby Van Gogh, and like it was like a lost deleted scene, and all of a sudden it had like footage of this. Like literally, we had like we have double footage of this, and we have this as double footage. Like why? What if they originally used this for one of the scenes instead of like these two? Honestly, I could definitely see this one being cut because I feel like. Its second appearance is less memorable than uh, these two. I feel like these two are the most iconic bug finger puppets in, out of all of them, in my opinion. But if anything, I have a feeling this one definitely would have been in the video if, you know, they didn't actually reuse some of the clips, if you know what I mean. And then, of course, like I said, last but not least, we have this one. So, yeah. The entire family is here. Oh, and of course I got these. Cylinder package. You got a pink one. You got a yellow one. And you got the uh, pink beetle. And for anyone who's going to be asking before I, before I get any comments, no, I will not be selling these. You think I'm going to be selling them? Fuck you. No, I'm not. Give them as backups. Believe me, I lost this little fucker so many times. It like it's gotten to the point where I just needed a duplicate in case if I lose one. And I don't want to risk losing the a pink one either. Believe me, do you even realize how rare and impossible that is to find? Literally, only like a small percentage of you guys knows that it's it's fucking impossible to find these. Well, probably not as much as the rest, but the pink one's fucking hard. Let me tell you, it, it never pops up. In fact, I'll even give you guys a bet. I doubt that another one will pop up on eBay at any point this year. Fucking doubt it. But yeah, no, I have a total collection of, what, 10 bug finger puppets right now? And the only two I need left are the two mosquitoes. If I want to complete, a, if I want to have a complete collection. Plus, two green inchworms, two pink inchworms, two of the yellow beetles, and two of the pink beetles. That'd be fucking awesome. I, literally, all I need left is just the fucking mosquitoes, and that, I'm just, that's done. I'm just done. That's literally all of them. Like, I'm just impressed. Like, I'd probably be the first one to actually complete the, all eight in the series. I'm not even sure if they were even supposed to be a series, actually. Like, were they actually a series originally? Like, I always thought that they came in, like, two separate sets. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, let's say, based on the photos, um, let's say these three, plus the original Van Gogh mosquitoes in this set, and then you have this set with the orange mosquito in this one. Is that how they originally did it? I'm just basing it off a photo of these three that I found on the internet. I don't really know 100%, but it definitely would be kind of awesome if I did find the other image of these three. And then you had the orange um, mosquito in that photo. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, obviously, we already know that these were made by Nancy Carson. Uh, back in 1998, two years before Van Gogh was actually released um, in 2000. And um, yeah, no, these are definitely, this and the Tagley were both definitely probably my best finds. Although I'd still have a few other f uh, good finds I was going to probably do a review on soon, but still. We're going to definitely wait a little bit on that for anything else. But yeah, no, this is definitely some of the best shit that I've ever gotten. Like, yet in my life. Sure, we had huge moments. Like the Hydro Gyro. Like the Happy Color. Uh, the Teddy Mobile recently. Um, and not even to fucking mention. 
Like, who? we cannot forget about the magic clock. That one was a very fucking special one. Really not gonna lie, though. Like, I had a bunch of special, iconic toys over the years. But these... Holy shit. No, I... I can't even live to this day about thinking of how much, of, or, like, how I actually actually have these. Like, this is just fucking crazy. Holy shit. I'm just proud of myself for once right now. Fucking proud of myself. Um, anyways, uh, that's just about it, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this double review, um, or I don't even know if it's double, because I also have, like, a couple of new, like, five new finger puppets. I don't know, but, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this special review. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, definitely. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, peace.